Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to Factorio. Why, you may ask, nerd, are you looking all funky? No, it's because these, these wonderful people are being awesome and cheering and, and buying stuff from the shop. And uh, the things they bought from the shop is the floaty nerd face, which is why it's just a floaty nerd face. And then uh, they also bought the Mario hat and the oh yeah shades. So, I mean, this is what you get for this episode. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, um... Uh, we're getting more landfill from our stuff. That's good. Um, so last episode we left off, I was working on trying to figure out the whole pump situation with this. So it looks like uh, what I need to do is get rid of all this copper that's down here. It's kind of in our way. All right. So um, I wonder if I were to go ahead and just put the... <sighs> Let's just do a standard. It'll be fine. do that and have these guys spit into one chest um, you know what? I just realized I could just do this and then uh, do an inserter and yeah that was actually the right one inserter and then do just a uh, Let's do a an active provider chest. Do I have any of those? It doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of those. Because we'll need them eventually, I'm sure. So active provider chest into there. And then we'll need to run stuff down here. Oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> or not. Maybe what we'll do is just run this all just over and then up. And then put the chest up here. That way we don't have to waste resources running robo ports down. That'll be fine. Let's do an inserter and then an active provider chest. There we go. Okay. And power. Sweet. And then we'll go ahead and run some of these power uh, power poles down. And this will be out of the way pretty quickly. Boink, 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 and boink. There we go. So it's not going to be a whole hell of a lot, but it'll be something. And then I'll just eventually feed its way up into the provider chest and we won't have to worry about it. Okay, so now we can start focusing on getting the, um, the water all ran up through here. Pumps and such. Getting rid of all the trees because we don't need them. And then landfill. Probably just go ahead and plop down some landfill here. It's going to be loud. I do apologize. Is the nature of landfill to be annoying? There we go. Okay. So now I'll probably just put all the pumps down here because that would be awesome. And you know what? I am going to go ahead and just use that blueprint that had all the pumps and everything. So I don't have to manually do all the crap. <laughs> Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I mean, I could just use that, but I'm going to use the crazy big one with all like 12 or whatever it was. Where was it? It was probably not in this blueprint. Actually, it probably was. Yeah, it was that one. So we'll just do that. And then I'll just condense them down into the 12 pipes from like the 24 or whatever is in this one. So that way we'll have plenty of water going up and in. Don't have to worry about it at all. <laughs> I need to go on a diet. Jeez, man. <laughs> uh, was it that? Nope, nope, nope. It was the other one. This one, yes. Um, dunk. 
Yeah, that'll have to do. Get that figured out. I don't know necessarily how this is going to work. We're going to try to make it work. This is probably going to be very non-efficient going this route. But this is how I'm going to do it. And we hope for the best. Everything looks like it's carrying pretty well. Okay. So now we just connect these guys up and then do the same thing on the other side. So let's get some undergrounds. Probably just attach that with regular. And then, um, I could probably just go ahead and use the blueprint that I made. No, I can do it manually. It's fine. So let's just do this. So that one would be going here to there. I guess I just got out of the, the range of the bots. I think that's going to line up. What's going on? Uh, six, two. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry. I was trying to catch up on what was going on in the chat. You guys were talking about measurements and stuff, and I did not know what you were talking about. But it's all good now. I got it. Everything's fine. That'll work. I think that should be right. And then one more. Oh, yeah. Should be fine. And I know I'm not connecting up with the uh, the regular pipes, but I will after I'm done running the undergrounds. And then we'll see how efficient this is, how it works. Make sure everything's getting supplied properly. There we go. Let's grab some of these guys. It's not pushing as fast as I'd like. I may have to toss in some pumps here and there. You have plenty. You're filling up. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how this goes when it's operational. We're talking about how far we are. <laughs> I hear you. Let's go ahead and get the other side situated. How's our power looking? Still pretty bad. Not too bad, but still pretty bad. Now, the one thing that I probably should have done for um, my little mall that I made earlier is I should have... Um, darn. I should have made sure that I had all the components good to go... Um, to make the components for the mole. So I'm going to go back and check that in just a moment after I get this situated. Well, dang, okay. All right, that's not going to work, though. There we 
we go. So I think your problem is connecting up with the source with the regular pipes made you use underground. Oh, okay. So that one, that one bar is not pushing through. Okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll rework those connections once I get the connections up top figured out. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right, actually. I'm just kind of plopping things down, not thinking about it. Uh, we got a train taking a while, so I'm going to check that out in a moment. Got all kinds of stuff we got to take care of, but I'm trying to get my power situation f situated first. <laughs> that was kind of redundant, but hey, it's fine. Okay. Oops. Uh, let's grab some more undergrounds, which I don't have. Let's go ahead and make a few more of those then. Boink. Boink. Come on. Wait, wait, did that not line up? Nope, not far enough. Okay. Alrighty, so here's this basic outline situated. Now we just gotta run it all upwards, make sure everything ties in. So that'll go there, I'll go there, and probably just run that as is. There we go. So that one's going to go to there. That one's going to go to there. This one to there. Got to love running pipes, man. Leave that one there. Connect it up in a funky manner once we get get it situated up there. All right. Uh, there's that. There's that. And then I think it stops there. And then we'll run this last one. Then figure out how we're going to connect everything in. All right. So I think these I'll go ahead. Because... Underground pipes only count as two pipes lengthwise. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's get some regular pipes going. Boink. There we go. And that's good. All right. So we got no water going up through here. Probably because we need bots to take care of stuff down here. So we're going to need a whole bunch more of these. Let's go ahead and just make them. <laughs> Why'd you think I'm funny, Chris? I try. I'm not the most funniest person in the world, but I try to be silly when I can. Oh, am I getting an egg? Oh, no, I got an egg. <laughs> I feel like maybe I should, I'm going to need a whole bunch more of those anyway. Just got to wait for it. Okay, so yeah. Um, 
so this is not gonna work. You're absolutely right. That's that's a dumb way to go about it. Sure. Uh, I mean, we have all these extra things. Maybe we can just get rid of the uh, extra stuff. That way, each one has its own dedicated pump. Oh, we don't have pumps down here. That would be why. <laughs> okay. Let's make a handful of those. Wait a second. That was not right. Crap. I just realized I have to be mindful of the pathing of the water and the stuff. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. That's going to go here. That's going to go there. Okay. That's not going to go anywhere. Nope. Wait a minute. That goes there. This goes to what? Nothing. So we have that one going to there, this one coming to there, this one going to there, and we have this one's not necessary. This one's not necessary. I think that's it. So that goes to that one. That goes to that one. That goes to that one. That one goes to that one. That goes to that, that goes to that, which goes to that. Goes that, and then this one goes all the way to the outside. And that one is not necessary. Okay. All the pumps, all the, all the time. Okay, hopefully we have plenty of pressure across the board here. Then I'll go check, rework the other side. Make sure everything's lined up nice. How are we doing on power? We're looking better than we were before. That's a good sign. Everything's got water. Nice. Do we already have stuff running? Holy crap, we already got stuff running. That's kind of cool, actually. All right, that's why we have more power. That's that's nice. Okay, um, let's go check out our other side and get that water situated. So yeah, we're completely out over here. Something's not right. I just realized that is not going to work. There we go. I wonder how many times I did that. Let's check the ones up top here. Oh, that should be good. Uh oh, same place? No, down to the south, which where we don't have any eyes, so it's yeah, should be fine. That should be good. Um, that should be fine. That one's good. That one's good out of here that's not blocking anything that's not blocking anything and that's not blocking anything okay cool the bots are indeed at work power's already looking better we're in the green now at least we're not we're not out of the clear yet but we're in the clear yet but Go fix our water lines down here and then start looking at um, <sighs> dealing with the uh, enrichment process. And I'm probably going to take Torvox advice here and just line these up one to one, not worry about it. 
Can I extend that out a little bit further? No, I cannot. That's as far as it's going to go. How about you guys? That's as far as you guys are going to go. Okay, so I'll just be wasteful. And then I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about undoing the other ones because that'll save some time and they, these things don't actually require power. These just, things are just not going to be connected to any water supply or anything like that. So that's fine. Everything looks like it has power or water. Except for a couple of these guys. Hmm. Getting attacked again. Okay. And then we're still waiting on a whole bunch of everything else. All right, so two things I want to do. This is all lined up. This is all connected up. All this has water. If that's the case, then I'm just going to let the bots deal with the rest. And they will eventually do that. Um, for now, I'm going to go back to our mall. Make sure that we have all the components on production for the items that I've got requested to be made at the mall. If that makes sense. I think we do. I, I should have checked. I love the way this looks. It's so good. Okay, so for this guy, we are making pipes, we are making circuits and gears. Do we have gears? We do have gears in the system, okay. Uh, we have steel beams in the system, we do. Uh, we have red circuits in the system. Oh goodness. Um, I don't know if we do or not. We should though. And there's some in here anyway, so it's, it's not a problem. So yeah, we have those, we're good. We have steel and copper going in. Yeah, all this is perfectly fine. Okay, so that's not a problem. What is a problem though? So these things take a whole crap ton of copper. I wonder if I were to put loaders. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. I already use loaders. No other way. Oh no, it'd have to come out of the thing and then okay, never mind. Never mind. What about stack inserters? That's something we need to do. Stack searcher, stack inserter. There we go. Do we have any of those? We have twelve of those. Let's go ahead and just make all of them. No, let's not make all of them. Holy crap. I need some green circuits for that. Let's go ahead and put two K there. Let's do a thousand. And five hundred is there. Good there. Okay. Um so we'll use twelve. Let's do that. That way that'll be faster. You also need a whole bunch of everything, so let's do that. You need a whole bunch of everything. Let's do that. Reactors, I'm not really too worried. Oh my gosh. Let's do that. Everything else should be fine. Already got plenty of that. Got plenty of those. Got plenty of those. So right now all we're doing is just waiting on all the copper and stuff to get dropped in. Okay, now that I have a stack inserters, it should speed things along nicely. Power's still looking okay. Yep. You 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 were thinking what I was thinking there, Torvok. <laughs> okay, so um power is a thing that's happening. Um, enrichment was the next thing. And uh, I might be cheaty and use a blueprint for this. Because I'm not super skilled. I had like a blueprint in mind a while back. But we're so close to having a rocket. Like I don't want to spend too much unnecessary time just dicking around for no reason. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just use some blueprints for this. Because if, 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 if it works, then there's no need to reinvent the wheel, right? And this is, uh, I believe, Catherine of Sky's book here. And I think she found it from somebody else. I could be wrong. Uh, so, yeah, this this uses beacons, though. So, I'm probably going to... What if I turn this sideways? Yeah, this, this actually right here will be fine. It uses a whole bunch of beacons. I'm going to have to make some beacons. I don't really generally make beacons, but they're in the blueprints, so I'll go ahead and make a uh, uh, an exception for that. Um, 
We need some more. We're gonna need some blue stuff. Oh man. Okay. So I need some blue underground. Oh, I haven't even unlocked blue stuff. Okay. So what's taking so long? Artillery is taking a long freaking time. Are we out of yellow science? Is that what it is? Or gray science? One or the other. No, we got plenty of gray. We're waiting on yellow. So let's go check the whole reason for yellow. So, uh, not thinking green with you. You said it first. Oh, okay. Power hogs, but yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I would think they'd, they'd be helpful in this situation. So there's gray coming along very slowly, but we have a backlog of that, no problem. Um, so our yellow, I think, is further down in our high tech area, whatever you want to call it. Phew. Uh, there's purple, there's yellow. What are we waiting on for yellow? There's definitely something we're waiting on. Um, incoming, waiting on processing units. Okay, processing units. What's up with processing units? We're waiting on red circuits. Red circuits, where are you guys at? Oh, and that's driving me nuts. I'm going to fix that. Uh, concrete. Bunk. There we go. Red circuit's not coming in from over here. Because of reasons. Okay, red circuits are up here being created. Very slowly, but surely. Let's get in there. You would think that having more of these guys would help, but uh, I don't know. I think we're missing another ingredient as well. So the, what is it, the plastic? Plastic is taking its sweet time. Okay. Go see what's up with the plastics. Let's hop in our vehicle for that. It's all about tracing things around, man. Trying to figure out what's going on. Oh god, I can't even see because. <laughs> oh wow, that's. I have to turn my head a little bit so I can get a little bit more visibility. Wow. That was intense. Okay, we got. We're not really getting a lot. Oh, because we don't have coal coming in. Oh, damn. All right. Well. This is kind of working. Uh, damn. All right. Um, I'm thinking. Trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, we got to replay. Hold on. Oh god, I can't even see because. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, pretty good. Wow, that's. I have to turn my head a little bit so I can get a little bit more visibility. Wow. That was intense. Okay, we got. Yeah, you guys timed that good. Uh, so I removed that little bit of logic to hold back coal if we were low on coal because we're now mainly on nuclear power. Uh, and the priority right now is to get uh, coal up to our plastic so that can get created faster. Now I'm wondering with all this, if I maybe should replace this all with red. Oh, and I just realized this is going to be adding in wood, which is not what we want. So I need to make sure no wood gets up here. I know we added wood into our system, but shouldn't be making it all the way up here. Do I have wood requested somewhere? That wouldn't make any sense. I wonder what happened. I don't even know. Okay. So let's see if this belt's fully saturated. And that's fine. That's good. That's exactly what we want to see. And how are we doing here? Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and send that on to plastic drop off. And what I'm going to do is also uh, do a little something funky here. I'm going to start using fast inserters, mini loaders. Oh, by the way. And then, um, that way, uh, Everything that's being unloaded will fill in the train a lot faster. So what I need to do is add another 
Oh man, that ain't gonna work. Actually, maybe it will. If we do just regular chests here. And then, um... Yeah, okay, actually this will work. Do it this way. And then, fast. Fast, 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 uh, there you go. Fast belts, transport belts. Words are failing me tonight, man. It's not a good sign. I'm realizing now that uh, those aren't actually working. Why is it not working? Is it turned the wrong way? It's going in, but not out. Hmm. Is that the filters? Oh, because I'm a dumbass and those are filters. There we go. And that way, I mean, you know, it can it can load up as fast as it can, but when the train comes in, it'll it'll at least load super fast, or excuse me, as fast as the fast loaders will load, instead of having to wait. And we have a decent amount of buffer here, so might as well use it, right? And that way, a train will get priority with with whatever. Um, actually, actually, you know what? Just do two. That way, we'll have plenty of plenty of space, and we'll have uh, passive provider chests. In multiple locations. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of pointless at this point. I mean, I could just uh, take these out, but I don't have the inventory space to migrate these over. But then again, could just do it manually. Oops. Where did that go? Okay. I'm confused. There we go. Where's that? And I'll get rid of these. Get rid of these. Let's make this a whole hell of a lot simpler. There we go. No need to overcomplicate things. Let's just use the regular inserters now. Loaders. There we go. That's what it should have been to begin with. All right. Okay. Um. So. I think I'm going to go ahead and start working on wrapping up this episode. Next episode, we will continue to work on um, getting that uh, reactor, uh, the new power plant situated. And um, the other few things I was working on. Oh, yeah. I was, I was trying to research why yellow science wasn't coming through fast but uh figured out why because i don't have enough production stuff so uh guys if you're new here hit the follow button if you're over on the youtube side hit that subscribe button also hit that like button if you guys wouldn't mind terribly i'd appreciate it and uh guys do me a favor share my videos share my live streams leave likes leave comments all that good stuff the more you guys participate the bigger we grow definitely want to do that so i appreciate all the support you guys give me every single day thank you guys so much you guys rock and um guys be awesome be excellent to each other and i'll catch you in another video as always thanks for watching take care